Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Night and Day Performance back with a quick how-to video. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing how to measure your installed height of your valve springs. If you're getting a cam kit from us or from many other sources, they'll have an installed height on the valve springs that you're supposed to or confirm that it is at that height. Um, if you have it too small, as per se, if it's too compressed on the spring and you're too close to coil bind, you can break springs. If you're too far away from coil bind, then you can have issues with valves not closing, valves hanging, etc. because the spring pressure is going to be down. So today I'm working on a 2018 Jeep Trackhawk. Normally I would do this off of the car. Today we're doing this on the car because this is a rush job we're doing. I just thought I'd give you guys a quick video on how to measure your spring height. All right, so here we have a cylinder head on a Gen 3 Hemi. If you're doing this on the car, you're gonna have to put air to the cylinder so you can make sure that you um, don't drop a valve in. Now to do this measurement, you're gonna need a specialty tool. Not super special because they're not crazy expensive. Looks just like this. This is a spring micrometer. And as you see here, those measurements are in thousandths of an inch. So basically that's the six, 1.600. 1.700, 1.8, 1.9, the zero is two, so that's two inch. And then everything above it, so you have your 5,000, 10,000, 15, 20, etc. So that's how you read that. To do that first, we're gonna have to get the valve spring off. That's on from the factory. So to do that, I have my valve spring compressor here, which is hard to work with with one hand. I'm trying to get you guys close so you can see but we're going to go ahead and tighten this down until you can see the locks are going to drop down. So there, the locks are now where I can see them. You're going to want to take a small magnet like this. Sorry, the air compressor is loud, so I had to pause, but here is what we call a lock. This is a lock for the valve. It goes right there on the top three ridges. Um, so you're going to remove both of those with a magnet, make sure you don't drop them. Then you're going to loosen the spring compressor to take the spring off. Just as such. And that was the retainer that I just dropped. You don't want to typically drop them, but it's not going to hurt it. So take your stock valve spring off. Now the particular kit that I'm working with is a Pac-12 32X kit, as you see here. These are drop-in springs. They're supposed to be installed at two inch 50 thou. So what we're doing now, we're gonna reuse our factory shim, which if you can see that down there, there's a little shim that's on the head. We're gonna make sure that stays there. And then you're gonna take your spring micrometer, but to do this, you're going to have to remove the uh, spring compressor because it's in the way. So I'm going to remove that real quick though. So I'm going to remove this. Get that out the way. So now you can see where our valve is. We're going to take our tool and we're going to put it on top just like it's a valve spring. Okay, so now you have to make it smaller so that you can fit the locks and all that on, of course. All right, had to grab the retainer, so now we're gonna put the retainer back there. And then we're gonna take our locks and put them back on. Careful not to drop the locks in the motor. Then you have more problems than you wanna deal with. So we're going to put our locks back on, as such. Like that. And then we're going to basically make this taller until we get to the point where it doesn't move. And we're not going to go crazy tight, but we're going to get it to where it's at its stopping point. And what you want to do is you want to keep the measurements up top. So, so 
here we're coming up on Now once you get it tightened, you're gonna read the numbers right here to see if it's 1.7, 1.8, etc. And if you need the spring to be a smaller number, you would put a shim down here. If you need it to be a larger number, and need the spring to be taller, you would remove a shim from down there. And then you install it at the recommended install height from whatever the manufacturer is, and that's how you measure your valve spring height. If this video has been helpful to you guys, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and like share with your friends catch you guys on the next video i'm gonna finish putting this hemi together go check out the video on this full build you can see that on the channel as well i'll put that link in the description and uh, i'll catch you guys on the next one